Using a spray gun to get a nice smooth finish of paint or lacquer or a clear finish like polyurethane has long been a great way to get a finish on woodworking projects. However, lots of us think of spray systems as something that's really complicated and something that only a professional would use. But since HVLP has come on the scene, it's become a lot easier, a lot less complicated, and it's actually a lot of fun. High volume, low pressure spray systems, HVLP, consist basically of a turbine, an air hose, and a spray gun. And the cool thing is they deliver more material, almost 50% more, with less overspray. How do they do that? Do I look like some kind of spray gun scientist to you? In truth, it's the low pressure of this system that drives less overspray, which means more material on your project, which saves you money in the long run, especially over those high pressure systems. Today I'm going to be demonstrating spray painting cabinet doors with this Fuji spray system. Now to accommodate different viscosities or thicknesses of material, HVLP systems can be outfitted with different spray tips. Today I'm going to be using a 1.8 millimeter tip, which is about in the middle of the range. When using a spray gun, you often need to thin the material a little bit. In this case, I'm using water with this latex paint, but you need an appropriate thinner for whatever material you're using. Then, put it through the strainer. Just a couple of tips about preparing where you're going to be spraying. Even with the low overspray of an HVLP system, it's still, you're still going to need to keep your shop from getting all messed up. And this spray tent works really great for that. The other thing you need to think about in advance is how you're going to hold your piece as you're spraying it. A Lazy Susan spinning table is something that people like. Today, I'm going to be using this hook system that fits right into the 35 millimeter cup of a door hinge um, to hold the drawers as I'm spraying them. Next. Turbine needs to be 20 feet away from where you're spraying and you need a fresh air source and regardless of what you're spraying, you should always have a good mask. You can adjust the gun to spray either vertically or horizontally or somewhere in between. Now the key to using a spray gun is what I call the Goldilocks system. You don't want to move too fast or too slow. You want to be a, have a nice moderate pace. You don't want to be too close or too far away. About 10 to 12 inches is the sweet spot. And of course, this is the most important piece. Start your spray off of your project and then bring it in. and You'll have the best results. You'll get the hang of it quickly as you give it a try. Cleaning your gun completely after each use is key to keeping your equipment in working order and having your spray system be useful. I recommend following the instructions in the manual as the way to go about that. But basically it just breaks down to spraying enough solvent for whatever material you're using. In this case we're using water. And then cleaning the individual parts. It's not that hard. Just need to remember to do it. That's about it. Well I've clearly just given you an overview of using an HVLP spray gun. I think I may have demonstrated enough to show you the advantages of spray finishing. And I hope that I've intrigued you enough that you might consider it in the future. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine. Keep on making sawdust.